morning everyone. I am Miss Cristina Rico, your teacher for English 9. To formally start the class, let us all stand and let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now class, before you take your seats, kindly arrange your chairs and pick up some pieces of papers. Okay, now you may take your seats. Now I am going to check your attendance. Once I call your name, please say present loud and clear. Okay? Okay. Abby, Andrew, Michael, and Jordan. Very good class. There is no absent today. But before we start our lesson for today, I would like to ask if how was your long weekend? Yes, dear. Wow, how about you, dear? Alright, so I assume that all of you had a very blissful long weekend. Since some shared that they had vacation and some shared that they had family bonding. However, class, let's all remember that yesterday is history, tomorrow is mystery, and today is a gift. That is why it is called present. It only means that we should always be appreciative of what we are experiencing today because it will be forever curved in our mind as we walk towards our future. To proceed, I have here prepared a group activity that will give all of you a clue about our new topic for today. So who among your class are familiar with the game Four Pictures and One Word? Okay, so I ask you that because our game is somewhat familiar to it. But this time, it's going to be one picture and one phrase. So the class will be divided into two groups, the boy group and the girl group. What you're going to do is that you are going to guess the phrase by examining the given pictures. Is that clear, grade 9? Okay, if that's so, let's start the game. So who can guess what phrase is this? Yes? Okay, correct. The phrase is piece of cake. Next? Yes. Good job. The phrase is break a leg. Next. Yes, dear. Alright. The phrase is couch potato. Next. Yes. Okay. The phrase is cut got your tongue. Last one. Yes. Alright. The phrase is under the weather. Very good, class. But, however, as you were answering the activity, what have you noticed? Anyone? Yes, dear. Correct. The phrases can be described literally and figuratively. Alright, so without further ado, let's proceed to our main lesson which is figures of speech. So what is figures of speech? Let's define it. Figures of speech is a word or phrase that is used in a non-literal sense for vivid effect. And it has eight common types, which are number one, simile. Simile is a figure of speech that compares two unlike ideas or object by using the words like or as. For example, my father is as brave as a lion. It is a simile because the father's bravery was compared to a lion. Number two, Metaphor. So, metaphor is a figure of speech that compares two unlike ideas without using the words like or us. Take note of the word without. For example, she is a walking dictionary. It is a metaphor because the subject is being compared without using the words like or us. Number three, personification. Personification is a figure of speech that gives human attributes or characteristic to an inanimate object. For example, my cousin said the star winked at her. It is a personification because the star, which is a non-living object, was given a human attribute by the word wink. To add, stars are not winking at us. They are just shining brightly at the night sky. Number four. Hyperbole. So hyperbole is a figure of speech that uses exaggerated words, unbelievable, and not to be taken seriously. For example, 
She cried a river when her dog died. It is a hyperbole because no one, such as human beings, can cry as much as a river. Number five. Alright, oxymoron. So, oxymoron is a figure of speech in which contradictory terms appear in conjunction. For example, a comedian was seriously funny. It is a oxymoron because of the words seriously and funny which obviously have different meanings. Number six, irony. So, irony is a figure of speech that implies a distance between what is said and what is really meant. For example, a carpenter does not have his own house. It is an irony because it shows ironic situation. It contradicts one's job description and of course it is, okay, it is sarcastic. Seven. Alright, so onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a figure of speech that imitates a sound associated to the words or object they refer to. For example, Chug, chug, chug. It is an onomatopoeia because it portrays the sound of a moving train. Last but not the least is, okay, idiom. Idiom is a figure of speech that uses word or phrases that have a non-literal meaning. For example, finger licking good, which means the food is delicious. So that will be the end of our lesson class. Do you have any questions or clarification about it? Okay, if there is none, then you should always remember that figure of speech is a word or phrase that is used in a non-literal sense for vivid effect. It includes simile, metaphor, hyperbole, oxymoron, personification, irony, onomatopoeia, and idiom. So, to relax your minds, I have you prepared a group activity that which is of course connected to what we have tackled earlier. So, the game is called Jumbled Letters. So, with your previous group, you are going to arrange and guess what type of figures of speech the given jumbled letters are. Okay? Okay, so let's start the game. So, who can answer number one? Yes? Good job. The answer is simile. Number two? Yes. All right. The answer is metaphor. Number three? Yes, dear. Very good. The answer is personification. Number four? Yes. All right. The answer is oxymoron. Okay. Number five. Last number. Who can answer? Yes. All right, the answer is idiom. Very good class and thank you for your participation. Moving forward, to check if all of you understand what we have tackled earlier, get a sheet of paper and enumerate the eight common types of figures of speech and give three examples each in 10 minutes, okay? Okay, if that's so, you may start now. Okay, class, time is up. Finish or not finish, pass your papers forward. Thank you. So class, for your assignment, you are going to create your own composition. It can be either a song, a poem, or a short story. And upon doing so, make sure to apply the eight common types of figures of speech and pass it in our next meeting. So that will be all class. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the day.